To open the audio workspace, you're going to click on this icon that looks like a waveform up here. And by the way, if you don't see the icon that you're looking for, like the audio icon, you can control click in this area and select or deselect what shows up in this upper right hand corner. So here we are in the audio workspace. The audio workspace is designed to help you keep your lip sync accurate while you're shooting. It's not designed to create audio for your film. It's designed simply for you to place audio into this space to do track readings, or if you have a face set that is replacement faces, replacement mouths, you can test that animation in this space. This workspace is divided into three sections, and the top is where you will see playback, visual playback of any kind of replacement set. And so so that way you can see if you like the way the replacements are working for mouths and, and other things too, you know, face changes. This middle section is where you will actually do the track reading for each character. In the bottom area, you'll see your face sets and all the different parts of your face set laid out and you'll be able to pick and click on here. So let me show you how this works. The first thing you're going to want to do is create an audio track that you can lay audio into. This little plus button here by this track symbol, you click that, now we actually have an audio track. And I can grab some audio, grabbing it on my desktop and bring it in and you'll see it's kind of cool if I just bring it over it actually appears there and so now I've got this piece of audio called crazy town I can scrub through it with the forward and backwards keys I can also play welcome it. to crazy town just saying welcome to crazy town welcome to crazy town then if you want to create a face set you click here and this creates a character. Now, the face sets are actually separate from the characters, so technically this is, this is creating a character. And once you have the character, you can click and rename it. You can pick a face set. So I have this Dr. Sock and Mouth Shapes. Those are two that come with the program, and so you could use those. Mouth Shapes are pretty cool because you could work out your lip sync by planning with these mouth shapes. Let's say you were going to do a sculpted mouth while you were animating, and this could actually help you look at what you're going to sculpt. As you go through this space and change these mouth shapes, these mouth shapes will show up in the animation window. So if I click over the animation window and you'll see a track reads appears here in guide layers, go track read, and I could say, I want to look at it, I'm going to turn on there, as a series of pictures that will show up while you're animating. And as you're stepping through the frames, it'll tell you which, which mouths to use. It's kind of cool. So that could be useful if you're not doing replacement, but if you're doing like a sculpted or if you've got a face that you're kind of pushing and pulling on or adjusting mechanically like uh, in Fantastic Mr. Fox, something like that. You can add multiple soundtracks here, like if you have effects, you can have multiple effects. Each of these audio tracks is editable as well, so you can place the playhead and then select that track. And then, for instance, up here, click the cut button and that cuts it. And now we could take one section and pull it away and, and delete out the other. These are the editing tools over here. These character areas have the images that you can use, but you can also write in the dialogue as well into this. We see this little dialogue image. You can type in the words. So I'm just going to write this out, the dialogue. Welcome to crazy town. Now I've, I've hit a space between each of those. Now when I hit return, each word lands on a frame. And you would line this up to the frame. So like if that says town, town, you'd line town up with it. And crazy with crazy and two with two two like that and welcome starts here and then these words will then show up again in the animation window in different ways now i've actually done a track read on this so let me load that in as a completed track read there's a lot of different ways that you can save the track reads out you can do whole sections of a film you can even bring in your story reel with your storyboards bring that in as a video file it'll show up up here and the audio can be brought down here and you can start track reading right from the story reel but right now i'm going to clear this out so i'm going to do remove track remove track clear track there yes and now I'm gonna load in a completed track read that I did a little earlier today on this piece so so this is a track read I did a little earlier with our Dr. Sock and oh. you'll see if I hit play welcome to crazy town he says welcome to crazy town Welcome to Crazy Town. And if the director or yourself approve that, then you could use this while you're animating. If we go into the animation window, again, there's a few different ways we can look at this. We can look at it here as we go. The mouth shapes. And it kind of shows you what frame you're on in the middle, where you were, and what's coming up. You can also see this in the X sheet. Now there's your audio. 
but you can go here to add a track and now you'll see oh add dialogue one add phonetics add mouth and so let's say dialogue you see welcome to crazy town you see the that's written on your first frame so you know what the words are and if you had the phonetics written out you could bring that in as well you can also look at your audio waveform down here in the timeline as well. So there's a lot of different ways that you can look at your audio. You can do your track reads using the audio workspace. You can bring in multiple tracks that have sound effects. You can be going along and realize, oh, I'm, I'm not at that dialogue yet. In the middle of your shot, you could say, well, I'm not getting to this town part, so I'm going to cut this. And now I can slide that down a few frames. Great, I've saved myself. And then you could go in here and, and, and move the um, track as well. In fact, let me do this. I'm going to move all everything together. So now like that. There's a lot of tricks in here. We'll go over these one at a time in a separate tutorial, but that was just a quick overview of what goes down in the audio workspace.